Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Lebrek. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and UAE Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan Al Nahyan will take part today in a virtual session via Zoom application under the theme Zayed's Ambitious Mission. His Highness Sheikh Nasser will deliver a speech at the event which will be organized by the UAE Embassy in the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center and the National Space Science Authority, NSSA. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the importance of the session which would usher in future horizons for space science, commending the UAE strides which represent a source of pride for the Arabic and Islamic nations. In a statement on the eve of the event, His Highness Sheikh Nasser underscored the vital importance of investing in youth and future science and pursuing scientific excellence in space exploration. He praised the UAE's success in overcoming difficulties despite the current circumstances the world is going through, hailing its success space strides encouraged by UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan and Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai Ruler His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The dialogue session, which is scheduled to start at 5 p.m., will be moderated by NSSA Chief Executive Officer Dr. Mohammed Al Asiri. Emirati astronauts Hazza Al Mansouri and Sultan Al Nayadi will take part in these sessions and shed light on selection training in Russia and trip to the International Space Station and return to Earth. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the victory of Paris FC while continuing to take the lead of the French League 2 under the slogan Victorious Bahrain. His Highness stated that the victory of Paris FC against PA FC has reinforced the team's ambition for the current season. His Highness affirmed that the team continues to promote the kingdom in the French League, which is part of the kingdom's economic vision 2030, stating that the kingdom's key in investing in sports. Sheikh Nasser said that Paris FC is following the plan developed by the team's administration and its technical and administrative bodies, which resulted in a new victory and three new points that cemented its position in the lead. His Highness wished the team continued success. Paris FC beat PA FC 1-0 after an exciting match, raising its score to 16 points, reinforcing its leading position two points ahead of New York. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received in his office at Ghibiya Palace today the U.S. Israeli delegation led by the U.S. Secretary of the Treasury Stephen Mnuchin and Israeli National Security Advisor Mir bin Shabbat. The Deputy Premier welcomed the joint delegation, stressing that the declaration of peace between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel underscores the approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in committing to peace as a strategic option through which frameworks for initiatives to promote international cooperation, stability, peace and prosperity in the Middle East are launched. He added that the approach also aims to boost efforts to resolve the Palestinian issue on the basis of the two-state solution, the international legitimacy and the Arab Peace Initiative being the ideal way to achieve just and comprehensive peace in the region. The Deputy Prime Minister noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is the country of tolerance, coexistence and openness to religious and religions and cultures. He added that Bahrain views the peace process as an essential step for broader relations to benefit the countries and people in the region. He stressed that in light of the historical experiences, constructive cooperation is an effective way to confront challenges facing the Middle East and the whole world as well as achieve forecast aspirations. For their part, uh, Stephen Mnuchin and Mir Ben Chabat thanked the Deputy Premier for the gracious welcome, wishing the visit every success. The meeting was attended by Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Foreign Minister Under Secretary for Inter International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting remotely presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah Al Salah in which it formed the committee responsible for responding to the royal speech headed by the first deputy chairman Jamal Mohammed Fakhrum. The council ratified the messages of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier on the decrees by a law issued by His Majesty the King during the legislative adjournment which are on unemployment insurance, pension funds and insurance laws and regulations 
addition of emergency expenses in the state's general budget for the fiscal year 2020 and utilization of part of the funds from the Future Generations Reserve Account. Delegations from Bahrain, the United States and Israel are meeting today in Manama. During the meetings, Bahrain and Israel will sign a joint communique on the establishment of diplomatic, peaceful and friendly relations, as well as a number of memorandums of understanding in areas of mutual benefit. This new era of peace and cooperation will bring further prosperity to the people of Bahrain and Israel. In light of the framework of finding specialization and devotion to investigating cases of importance and seriousness, Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al Bainin issued his decision number 34 for the year 2020, establishing a prosecution for trafficking in persons to be uh, competent to investigate these types of crimes stipulated in law number one of the year 2008 regarding combating trafficking in persons as well as all those related to it in any other law, such as forced labor, withholding wages, and wrongful crimes. According to the decision, members of this prosecution office will initiate the procedures outlined in the anti-trafficking in persons law related to the victim's legal rights, care, and protection. The decision also assigned prosecutors to visit shelters and victims' places of residence, prepare reports of the results of those visits, research and studies, as well as reports on new methods that investigate investigations reveal in the commission of the crime and to inform the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons to take them into consideration when developing control programs. The Department of uh, Continuing Education Acting Director Abdel Karim uh, Bousbia said that the ministry is providing virtual sign language programs for people with special needs. He added that the programs are provided through educational portals presented by sign language teachers. Bousbia said that 21 education centers across uh, the governance will be dedicated for distance learning and training for people with special needs. The centers will be provided with sign language teachers, community service and advisors. Bahrain has uh, condemned the terrorist stabbing that occurred in a Paris a suburb that caused the death of a French citizen. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed uh, Bahrain's sympathy with uh, the French people and support of the French Republic and its efforts to combat terrorism, extremism and violence of all forms and for the measures it takes to protect the security and safety of citizens. The Ministry extended sincere condolences and sympathies to the family and relatives of the victim and stressed the need for the international community to join hands to eliminate violence extremism and ter terrorism under all their manifestations irrespective of the motives or justifications. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,433 with 420 recoveries, 246 registered new cases and five deaths. 60 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 183 are contacts of active cases and three are travel related. The deceased uh, were 80 and 61 year old male citizens, 51 and 31 year old female citizens and a 75 year old male expatriate. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.